this stupid thing. Ah, oh, what the heck? Come on, anybody home? Lenny, on vacay? See you in a week? Oh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. I gotta get this thing fixed today. Ah, oh, oh, who's that guy? Looks like he works on uh, little small engines and things. Maybe I'll take this over there. He could probably fix it. Wouldn't hurt, huh? Done. Oh, hey, how's it going, guy? Oh, I got a weed whacker here. Thing won't stop. Think uh, maybe you can fix it? Oh, yeah, that's no problem, man. Just uh, drop it off. I'll have a bite to you a couple hours. How about that? All right, sounds good. Uh, you need a name or anything or what? I don't need your name or anything. Yeah, just come back a couple hours. All right, sounds perfect. All right, I'll be back, guy. All right, sounds good. See you later. All right, we'll see ya. <laughs> Hey, 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 I'm back. You got that weed whacker running? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's running like a top now, man. Just uh, let me go in the back and grab it for you, all right? Uh, all ready to go. All right, here she is. Oh, yeah, there she is. Needed uh, quite a bit of work. Oh, uh, yeah? What, what uh, kind of work are we talking here? Well, uh, first off, muffler bearing was all blown out, so I had to replace that. Muffler bearing, huh? Oh, yeah, and then uh, that bleeder symbol was shot, so I threw a new one of those up on there. Bleeder symbol? Okay. And uh, that calculator belt was way out of timing, so I had to retime it for you. Calculator belt, huh? Okay, sounds like complicated stuff. Oh, yeah, and I threw a new gasket kit on there, too. Oh, okay, good. All right, uh, sounds like you did a lot of stuff. Uh, what's this gonna run me, huh? Uh, I don't know, uh, 140, 150? 140, 150? Well, which one is it? 140 or 150? It's, uh, 155. 155? Ah, jeez, ah. Oh. oh, man, the old lady's gonna be hot when I tell her about this one. Ah, oh, crap. Well, why didn't you call me for 150? I could have bought a whole new unit. Well, uh, I didn't have your number, so I, I didn't know. I, I still... told you, you idiot. You should have took my number uh, name. Well, I didn't do nothing that I didn't need, uh, all right? So you're that an idiot. Be, uh, is that going to be a cash or, or a charge? Cash or charge? Oh, jeez. Oh, well, I guess cash. There you go. All right, thanks, man. Oh, yeah, thank you. You have a good day, sir. Yeah, this thing better run. Oh, yeah, it will. Yeah, since I'm paying your mortgage. Uh, all right, stupid thing gonna run. Uh, all that money I spent on it. Uh, come on, come on. Uh, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Come on. Uh, oh, that's it. This guy's getting a pond in. Uh, what the heck? The door's locked. What are you trying to shut me out? I ain't giving up that easy. Uh, hey, open up. I know you're in there, you crook. Come on. Sorry, we're close. What? Ooh, you got a world of hurt coming to you, buddy. Don't worry. I'll be camped out here like a bum at a bus stop waiting for you. Pterodactyl here, and I'm here with Froggy. And today's how-to video is going to be on this here John Deere. I'm going to show you how to change them steering gear when they wear out. Ain't that right, Froggy? Yeah, you can see good. All right, give me my glasses back. All right, hop away, hop away. All right, you probably got one of these here John Deere's under a bunch of different models. We're gonna list all that. And you can see the gears are all wore out. Can you zoom in on that, Mr. Cameraman? And I'm gonna show you how to change that. Now, for filming purposes, we went and got a junk tractor out of the yard and put it up on end like this, so it would be easier to film. You may have to be doing this on the ground. If you want to stand it up, that's up to you. If you do, take the battery out, put a bag over the filler mouth of the gas tank and screw the cap on so gas don't get all over the place and you can lift it up. And it, see, it's balancing on the back fender, it's pretty good, so it's pretty stable. 
difference is you're going to have your engine on there. Otherwise, you're going to have to lay on your back. You know, and of course, the first thing you're going to do to access all this is you're going to have to jerk your deck off. Okay, well, now I'm tripping over stuff. You're going to need a 19 millimeter socket to get this nut off to remove this gear. Now I'm using this. Now sometimes these are stuck on there, rusted on there, so you may have to take a hammer and knock it off. Now be careful, you don't want to ruin these threads. I usually use a brass hammer, but if you're doing this at home, you probably ain't got a brass hammer. So you can put the nut back on and get it flush so you don't wreck the threads and then just tap on it to get it out. Then you may have to take a punch and knock it through. But a lot of times they just come off. But this one was pretty rusty. See, it's all wore out. You know what'd be nice is if they would put that spline all the way through so you could flip it around and use the other good part of the gear, but it looks like it's right dead center, so it doesn't look like it really matters. Looks like somebody changed this bolt. That's a regular standard bolt. It should be 15 millimeter head, but somebody put a 3 8 bolt in there. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Okay. 15 millimeter socket, 15 millimeter wrench. Now you're gonna have to get in there. It's gonna be kind of difficult because you're gonna have the engine and the pulleys and all that on here. So you're gonna have to get in there. And then, you know, I'm using this impact. You're probably gonna be using hand tools unless you got one of these. And then zip this off. Being careful not to lose the nut. And then there's a spacer on here like a little shoulder spacer with a washer, like a shim washer. Sometimes this gets wore out, so you're gonna have to replace that too. Now I did notice that on the inner screen, on eBay, you can buy a whole kit that comes with this gear, those two new bushings, new bolts, and the new gear for here. A lot cheaper than you can get it at John Deere. And like I said, this isn't the right bolt. Again, you're going to have to reach down in here, because remember the engine's going to be on. You're not going to have all this room like I got to take it off. And again, same kind of bushing with a washer, a little thin shim washer. Now, you might want to go to John Deere and buy a couple of these, because we're going to shim this up tighter when we go to put it back together. Now I went on eBay and I bought some little shim washers. I bought 25 of them. These are stainless steel. They're uh, inch and three eighths outside diameter, three quarter inside diameter, and they're one thirty second of an inch thick, which is like 31 thousandths thick. And they're basically the same as that washer from John Deere. See, it'll fit on there. But you may not want to buy 25 of them. I do because we do a lot of these. All right, so now you got that loose. So now you can swing this out. And now you can get to these back here, which are 15 millimeter, and then 13 millimeter to go in here which is the same as half inch, and then 15. Now I could use my impact to loosen these, but you're probably gonna use hand tools. I'm gonna use my impact. Because they're on there pretty tight. Usually from the factory. See, now you can zip that off. Now we can get the gear off. We shove this back in. Remember this jump tractor out junk here. Alright. 
Hey, that gear is all wore, all chewed up. Needs to be replaced. Now this shaft will come out. This is your steering shaft. You can grab the steering wheel and pull this out. Don't pull it all the way out. Now this bushing usually is wore out too. That's why a lot of times it doesn't mesh because this bushing is, is wore out. So you're gonna have to replace that too. Now this one's plastic. And you're gonna have to pry it out with a screwdriver. Now on some of these tractors, they have a metal bushing. And the metal bushing has got a little C-clip on the back side of it under here. So you're gonna have to get under there with a screwdriver like this and knock that clip off in order to get the metal bushing out. Not the plastic one, but the metal. And if you go and reorder the metal one, you're gonna get the plastic one. So you're not even gonna use that clip. You're just gonna get a new plastic one. Now Rotary's got that plastic bushing under part number 14557. The John Deere number is GX21994. That's for that plastic bushing. And the gear we're gonna use is this one here. No, is this one here. GX20052, rotary number 14150, or you can go online on eBay and get the whole kit, but make sure it's for your tractor. Cause see, they make another gear for different models. See, it's different. It's got a smaller slot, and it's a little bit different. This is for a different model. This one's GX21, what is that, a 924BLE, or Rotary 14850. It's a little different, right Froggy? What are you saying no for? So make sure you get the right sector gear, they call it, for your model track. Now the gear itself is the same gear for both sector gears. This is the same gear. Now Rotary's got it, 14151, and it's pretty pricey. Or again, like I said, you can go on the inner screen and get a whole kit for pretty cheap. It's aftermarket. So, all you're gonna do is reinstall it now. Make sure that this curved part is facing out. You don't wanna put it on like this. It ain't gonna work. It's got a little bit of a curve to it that's gotta be facing out. So the first thing you're gonna do is hook up these steering arms. You're gonna bolt them on first. Both sides. And tighten them up. Here we go. Stupid, I see you strong with zip ties. Working around with you. I'm trying to do a how to. Now, I'm going to use their old washer and I'm going to add a washer. And then put that bolt back in. Even though this ain't the right bolt. But it'll work. Just a 3 8 bolt they're using instead of the metric one. And then you gotta get in there with octopus fingers and get that nut on. Now I'm making it look easy because I don't have an engine or anything in here. But you're gonna it's gonna be hard for you. It might be easier to go in this way, since we got the bushing out. You can go in and get that nut on. Especially if you're laying on the ground trying to do this.
So then you're going to get in there and tighten that up. Now, remember I added a shim washer on there, so see? That tightened it up a lot more. And then we're going to see about adding a shim washer to that one. But sometimes when you do that, it might make it too tight. And you're going to have to reach in there again. Hold it. At least if you get it started with octopus fingers, then you can grab it with the wrench. Oh yeah, see? Tightened it way up by adding another shim washer. See, Froggy? By adding those shim washers, it takes a lot of play out of this segment gear. That's a good idea, ain't it? Why are you shaking your head no for again? Okay. Now we're going to put in the steering gear and the bushing. So just put the bushing in, push it in, it doesn't lock in or nothing. And then you notice I marked the center of the segment, 13 teeth in I counted from each side to get to the center. So now we're going to know where the center is because you're going to have to line up the steering wheel. Because when you put the steering wheel back on, if you don't get it lined up center, your, you know, your steering wheel may be crooked. Maybe you don't care. Maybe you do. Maybe you're anal about that kind of stuff. So, now you can slide your steering shaft back through. Because there's two of them plastic bushings in there. You know, there's another one up here, too. Up at the top. But that one usually doesn't wear out. That's why I just replaced the one. All right, so now I'm coming through. The steering wheel through. And then you're gonna wanna come over here and line it up. Make sure it's in the middle where you want it. Like again, like I said, maybe you don't care if it's like this when you're done. So I got it lined up in the middle. And now you want to put this on. Now you might want to put some kind of lubricant on here. Because this one was pretty rusty. Some never sees. I'm not going to do that because this is a junk tractor. But if this was a customer's tractor. So I'm going to go back and check. Make sure I'm centered. Now I'm centered. So I'm going to want it to go right between these two teeth here. Come on. Now I can check and see. Okay, yeah, it looks lined up. So, got it lined up between them two, those two teeth there. Not these two teeth here. These two teeth here. And then you can put your nut on. Tighten it down. Now you can see that this gear, aftermarket, rotary, $31.50, list price on it. That's what I get. And this gear is $32.95, $33. So it'd be worth it to go on the inner screen and buy that whole kit. Comes with the bushings, the bolts, the gear, the gear. You know, and then the only thing you're going to have to do is maybe get them shim washers. If you choose to shim it, I would. So, from me and Froggy, here at Grass Rats Garage, there's your dinner. Rebeat, rebeat, rebeat your dinner. Rebeat, rebeat. Bye, everybody. Say bye, Froggy. Rebeat, rebeat, rebeat. Ah, ah, day, are you little weasel. Ha, got you now. Hey, hey, you little jerk. Yeah, I got you now, don't I? Ha, ha. Hey, where you going? Hey, uh, come here, you little jerk. Hey. Hey. Hey.
Looks like he's back. Perfect. Ding dong. Anybody home? Where's the dinner man? Anybody home? Tell, uh, how's it going, buddy? Good. Dinner man's back. Man, am I glad to have you back. I had to take this weed whacker over to that Gordy over there. Oh, I don't know how that guy stays in business. He's a shyster, I tell you. Charged me 150 bucks to get this thing going, even though it don't run still. He put a new muffler bearing in it, a new bleeder symbol, whatever that is. Retime something. I don't know. All I know is that the thing don't run, and my old lady's flaming hot like a bag of Cheetos. So, uh, you think you can get this thing running the right way or what? Oh, sure, that's not a problem. Let me take a look at it. Oh, it'd be my pleasure after that, idiot. Okay, doesn't look like he did anything to it. What are you talking about? He didn't put a new muffler bearing in there? Muffler bearing? Never heard of a muffler bearing. You haven't? No. Okay, well, uh, how's the bleeder symbol? What's a bleeder symbol? Uh, I don't know. Gordy said he put a new bleeder symbol in it. There's no such thing as a bleeder symbol. Hey, yeah, yeah. Well, did he at least retime the uh, calculator belt or what? There's no calculator belt on here. There's no. These things don't exist. These terms. What is this made up? Mumbo jumbo? What the heck? Yeah, that's that Gordy. We're all gonna pawn that guy. Have you been trying to start this with the lever down? Yeah, I thought that was the choke. No, the choke is up in the up position. Ah, uh, you gotta be kidding me! I tell you what. I'd like to choke that Gordy. <laughs> but seriously, that'd be great if you could mock that. Yeah, here, I can mock paint pen here and let me mark a C on there for choke. Oh, that's great. Mock it. Oh, awesome. It should start now. Yeah, well, I hope that's not all it was. All this money I spent on this thing. They wanted to start. Oh, you got to catch it. Oh, come on. Freaking kidding me, Terry. You were the master. That's all it was. All it was. All that money. Oh, I'm gonna pound that friggin' guy. I swear. Oh, I'll tell you what. What do I owe you? Huh? You don't owe me nothing. Oh, come on. 40 bucks? No, you should go back over there and get your money back from that Gordy. Come on, take it. No, no, that's good. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll give you and the kid front row tickets to the fight tonight. Me and Gordy. I'm gonna pound him. Whoa. I'd like to see that, but I got a lot of work to do. Maybe some other time. Oh, you're going to miss out. I'm looking for a knockout on this one, Terrell. All right. You All take right. care. All right. Well, thank you, sir. All right. You were the master. All right. I'll see you. I'm going to tell all my buddies. Okay. Gordy. Muffler bearing. Bleeder symbol. Calculator belt. <laughs> the terms that guy comes up with. Nothing. Oh, gotcha now, you little shyster. Oh, how do you like this for bleeder symbol? All right, here we go. We got a muffler bearing coming up right here. Oh, you friggin' jerk. How about I retime your calculator belt? Whatever that is. Bada bing. You know what, buddy? If we was on the East Coast right now, you'd be sleeping with the fishes. Capiche? Friggin' idiot.